create on-beat animations with ease using the BPM Pulse script. You can find the link in the description. These are the new features of BPM Pulse version 2.0. For demonstration, I already set up a composition with a song, a solid and a text layer. I also opened up the BPM Pulse script. First, we need to add the control slider to the layer we are working with. The controls are mandatory for the expression to work. It is set to on by default. By changing the slider value to zero, you can disable the pulse effect. You can use keyframes in the timeline to control the effect state over time. Let's add the correct BPM count. Select the amplifier range and adjust the value. You can use integer and also negative values. Now select the property, in this case scale, and apply the expression. In this case, the amplifier value is 66. So within one beat, the value is changing from 100 to 166 and back to 100. Let's check out the new snappy mode. Usually the sine wave peaks at the halfway point of the cycle, which is 50% of the beat duration. This means the rise, or attack, and the release times of the wave are equal. When snappy mode is enabled, the attack duration of the sine wave is modified, resulting in an asymmetrical wave. By default, the attack time is 20% of the cycle, so the release is 80%. This makes the animation more punchy. It appears that we need to shift the phase, so the animation peak sits on the kick and not the offbeat. To show you the difference, I changed the attack to about 50%. Now the rise and fall duration is equal. Or we can make the rise much longer than the fall. Now it snaps back instead of punching to the front. Like I mentioned earlier, you can now enable and disable the pulse using keyframes. Select the Enable Pulse slider and add a keyframe. Now move to the next frame and change the slider value to zero, which turns off the effect, and do the same the other way around to enable it again. Let's match it to the break of the song. Ready? That's it. You can now add the pulse to every property you like. In this example, I added some fractal noise to the background and an adjustment layer with a CC lens effect on top. Then I added the BPM pulse to the convergence property. Now you can download the script and start playing around. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.